Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at how to prevent Windows Copilot from operating on your computer without having to use the Group Policy Editor. So this is going to be great for those of you that are stuck on Windows 11 Home and want to actually get rid of this particular AI device, which some people will dislike. Obviously, if you like it, leave it on there. It's entirely up to you. We did do a previous video on this, which showed you how to remove it by using the Group Policy Editor. But like I said, some Windows users don't have access to that, so this is another way of doing it via the registry. So as always, if you're doing anything in the registry, always do a backup before you start, just in case something goes wrong. Obviously with this, you probably can just undo the changes should you wish to, just by changing one of the flags or keys, but you have been warned, make sure you do your backups. With that said, let's get over to the PC and show you how it's done. So the first thing you wanna do is to open up the registry editor. That is called RegEdit. Uh, you can find that quite easily. Click on the search bar and type in Reg or start typing RegEdit and it'll come up. So you've got the registry editor. Click on that to open it and you'll be greeted with this box. Now there's two different settings you can do here. So if you want to just disable Windows Copilot for the current user of the machine, you can use H key current user. If you wish to disable it for all users of the machine, you can go into the H key local machine, which is this one here. Ideally, I would say if you want to remove it, probably best off doing it in both sections. On this particular setup, this is our Windows 11 Pro version, which actually has this modification already, because you can see Copilot is not at the bottom. So let me show you where the actual keys are. So if you go into the first one, so this is for the user group. So expand the user group, and you want to go down to H key current user, then go down to software, and then from software, find the policies tab. In policies, open up Microsoft and then into Windows. And you'll find on this particular instance, because we've already got it done, we have got a Windows Copilot key there. And also we have a D word 32 bit value here of turn off Windows Copilot with a value of one. So if for some reason you don't have that, I'll show you how to do that in the next part of the video, which will be disabling it for the entire machine. It's very straightforward again, just uh, on the Windows section here, you can right click, choose new, choose key, call the key Windows Copilot, as you can see written above. Then when you've got that, you can then go on to Windows Copilot, do new, and do a D word 32 bit value. And then you can basically copy what that says above here. So turn off Windows Copilot. It's very important that you use the capitalization of the words. So capital T, capital O, capital W, capital C. And then when you've created it, you can double click on it. And then you can change the value to one. If you want to re-enable it after, just change the value. So delete that, just type in a zero, and this will re-enable the feature but we're gonna leave this set to value number one currently. Click OK, and that is it done. So you can leave those new values there. It doesn't cause any harm. There's no data actually attached to it. If you want to remove it, right click and choose delete. You get a message saying, are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys? In this instance, it's fine. We wanna get rid of it, so we'll click yes. So that is for the actual user level. So let's condense that down again. So if we want to do it for the entire computer, we can go down to local machine. Again, open it up and we'll go down to software. And then from software, go down to policies. Normally that would be like this. So just expand it. And then you want Microsoft. Then Windows. And then we're looking for Windows Copilot. Now in this instance, because we haven't done this already and it hasn't been enabled for this machine, we don't have a key for it. So what we're gonna do is to highlight Windows, I'm gonna right click, and then we're gonna choose new, and we're gonna choose key. So now we have to actually name this key. So in order to do that, so capital W, Windows, and then capital C for Copilot. And then when you're happy, press enter. That is our new key created. And what we can do is now go over to the right hand side here. And now we can actually create our D word value. So right click, choose new, D 
DWORD 32-bit value. And now we have to name this particular key. And we're going to call this turn off Windows Copilot. And again, make sure you have your capitalizations, T, O, W, and C. When you're happy, press Enter. Now we can double click on this and we can change the value data to value number one and click OK. So now we have disabled the Windows Copilot for both the local machine, so any users on the machine won't be able to enable it, and also we've disabled it for the individual user that we're logged in as. I would also suggest check out the video description. I will put all of this data actually in the video description so you can check out for yourselves. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So there we go, a relatively straightforward thing to do. Just obviously follow along with the instructions in the video description. Also, you can potentially, if you want to, if you just want to upgrade your version of Windows 11 Home to Windows 11 Pro, so you do have the group policy editor available to you, you can do very cheaply using the premium CD keys, Windows license keys. You can pick up a Windows 10 or Windows 11 professional key for less than five pounds. And then that will upgrade your Windows Home version to professional, giving you other features alongside the option to actually use the group policy editor, should you wish to, which I strongly suggest you do. I do prefer the Windows Pro versions. And again, for less than five pounds, you can't go too far wrong. And if you want to get it even cheaper, use the discount code Mike's Unboxing, and you'll get a further discount off your purchase. Links for that, again, will be in the video description. So anyway, like I said, pretty straightforward thing to do. Instructions are in the video description below, along with links should you wish to purchase a Windows 11 license. If you've liked this video, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then hit the subscribe button and the chime icon, and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.